All right, number 15 is my favorite. You guys will see why. So we have a parenthesis instead of another, but don't worry, just do this inside out. So we will distribute this first. So we get x times 2 plus 4 times x is 4x, and then 4 times 1 is 4, and this is equal to 3. Notice the inside, we have 2 plus 4 we can combine, so that's x. Let me write down the 4x first, and then this and that is plus 6, and that's equal to 3. Here, we distribute the x inside, so we get 4x squared, and then we have plus 6x, and this is equal to 3. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the fixed part, right? But now, if we move the 3 to the other side, let me tell you it's not factorable. So, should we just stop right here, maybe complete and square? This is even though. Well, if you use the version I showed you um, earlier today, <laughs> unfortunately, you will have to divide everybody by 4 in order to do the 1 half b square and all that stuff. But if you divide this by 4, uh, you end up with fraction, and 3 over 4 is another fraction. Yeah? So, no. Quadratic formula, sure thing. You can definitely use the quadratic formula, but there's a reason why I say this is the favorite piece. I will complete the square in a different way. What I will do is, I will produce 16 here. Why? Because, because I can produce a much better perfect square. You'll see. I'm just going to multiply everybody by 4. Yeah, you might be wondering why, but you want to end with 16, it works out much better. Right here, let's just continue and then you'll see what's happening later on. 4 times this is 16x squared, 4 times this is plus 24, leave a space, and then 4 times that is 12. All right? So not what I make the question worse. But don't worry, because remember the goal for completing a square is you want to get this thing to the second power, yeah? So if I can fill in the parentheses, then we'll be done. Here we have 16x squared. And if you want to put it here, we must be what? It must be 4x. Because remember the binomial formula. If you have to square something, you will have to square the 4 and square the x. 4 squared is 16, and x squared is right here, okay? And because this is a plus, we have to have a plus. Now the question is, what is this? Well, let's think about it. If we have this, a plus b squared, this is going to give us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And um, this thing is like the 16x squared. And now, this thing is the 24, sorry, oh, I forgot the x, 24x. This thing right here is the 24x. Here is 24x already. We know this right here is 4, so we must have 4x here. But there's a 2 in front, so we must have a 2 right here. And now the question is, what should I put in the parentheses? But 2 times 4 is 8x. And then don't forget, we still have to multiply by question mark. So what's question mark? 4 times 8 is equal to 24. The answer is 3. So we must have this right here being equal to 3. So that means the question mark here is equal to 3. So what that means is, when we have to do that, we have to have 3 squared. So that means we will have to add 9 here. But I cannot just add 9 on this side only. I will also have to do it to the other one. All right, so that's how it works. 12 plus 9 is 21. And ladies and gentlemen, we can solve it now by taking the square roots on both sides. Cancel this. This is 4x plus 3 equals plus or minus 21 uh, in the square root. Minus 3 on both sides, so this is 4x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 21. At the end, divide this by 4. Cancel this. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the answer. I'll just box it like this. I love this so much because not only I started with 1, 2, 3, 4, and I also gave you two, two sets of parentheses, but also I can show you guys this cool way to complete the square. And the final thing is, the answer is still 1, 2, 3, 4. How cool is that?